I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I might, uh, sound a little different. <laughs> this is a different microphone. So I might sound a little finicky. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I tested this, kind of, kind of. Um, let me make myself like it. <laughs> Hi, Zion. Okay, I so thought I tested this. Watch this. Hello? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, fucking like. <laughs> oh, thank you for the gift of the by the way. I you really see that. It's like the, what's it called? The fucking Balloon Boy film? <laughs> from, um... FNAF? <laughs> so? So she's in my head? Uh, what is it? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> is this left again? <laughs> left again. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna try my best. I will try my best. Okay. But I am my best. Um, my model might not catch me all the time. Cause, um... Uh... The mic is pretty high in front of my face. So, uh... I might be a little finicky. I'm still gonna try and draw during it. But just know that my model often... Stop tracking me. <laughs> okay. So yeah. How's this? Is this audio okay? Is it too loud? Is this alright? Am I okay over here? Is this alright? Are we alright? <laughs> Are we good? Good? Not loud enough? I need to be louder? Yes? Yes isn't louder? I'd assume yes isn't louder. Oh good, can you squeeze? Is this why you're supposed to be quiet? I'm not good at this. <laughs> okay. If it's supposed to be quiet, then... All good? Scream? <laughs> Laugh screech in this ear? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, you can see my cursor. Ba -ba -ba. Da -da -da. Hello. Welcome back. Um, oh wait, I forgot to do something. Wait, wait. Give me a second. Don't panic. Don't panic, okay? No panicking? Alright. <laughs> I forgot something. It's important. Stop. I can sense it already. <laughs> Here is it. There you go. Now it's easier to identify me. Okay. I'm supposed to speak softly and I'm gonna try my best. And I'm gonna sit up straight so my face doesn't go behind the mic as much as possible. What is <laughs> Sorry, I almost dropped something. Okay, I'm gonna be really bad at this. It's okay. It's all a learning process, right? I am here to test new things. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to go, like, between both sides? Hi! We're gonna learn about water-soluble vitamins. <laughs> I you wanna take a guess what water-soluble vitamins are? <laughs> I'm gonna take a guess. Water... So... Hello. <laughs> I love doing the right channel. <laughs> Left channel. 
Hey. <laughs> so bloody! Oh my god, you're a genius. Okay. So, <clears throat> your water bottle go like this. I like. Okay. Find someone. He's too powerful. I have you left here, Zion. <laughs> Wait, that's you, right? <laughs> well, technically, if I was facing you, that would be your left. But through audio, I have you left here. <laughs> Alright, Zion. I love you. <laughs> that was only for Zion. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, so that's our silence. I can die happy. I love you. All right. So, this is gonna look really simple, but there's really only two vitamins here. C. All right. But. Your hand is raised, what is it? Hello, hello, hello. What's wrong? Is everything okay? Principal, hi. Oh my god, is Sion the principal? Are we like... Are we one of those like... Like the... What's it called? Like the, the teachers that everyone thinks that it's dating or something? <laughs> I, I'm gonna put this here. Let's say, hello, what's up? What's wrong? Everything okay? Are you okay? What are we learning about? We're learning about vitamins today. So we're learning about water-soluble vitamins. So, that has vitamin B and vitamin C. <laughs> this isn't an art class. This is not. It's an actual uh, nutrition class, technically. Biology and Nutrition. So, if you guys remember from last time, vitamins are, are organic molecules, right? They're mostly made of, uh, <laughs> I guess, organic components. Just anything, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, that kind of thing. What is lunch break? Right now, you can eat lunch right now while you're listening to me. Not leaving the classroom, you can never leave the classroom, you're stuck here forever. So, our vitamin B. Um. Okay. So, we're gonna go through the water soluble stuff. How much playground time? Oh my god, are you guys like five? It's over. <laughs> it's over. You guys are a bunch of babies. Why are you guys learning about vitamins then? <laughs> oh yeah, there is one more. It's technically called choline. <laughs> what if we are? You guys are pretty fucking smart babies, I'll be honest. This is an advanced class? Oh my god. Imagine all my college classes have been taken by a bunch of babies already. That's not fair. <laughs> Alright. So, the reason for this is that, um, there's a lot of vitamin Bs. <laughs> so there's vitamin B1, and we'll learn all the names for them, but there's also vitamin B2, and vitamin B3. <laughs> there's something called biotin. There's something called, um, pentothenic? Pentothenic? <laughs> Acid? There's B6? There's B12? So you guys have heard some of these, come on. 
Are they just different letters? Well, these actually have names. The reason why they're named like this is based off of when they were discovered. So... I, I don't really know what happened here. I'm gonna be real. I don't know why they went 6, and then they went 12, but... That's just how it is. <laughs> and then we also have... Uh, I'm certain you've heard of it. Folates. These are important specifically more still for women, but... What page of the textbook is this? I'm lost. Uh, page 8. <laughs> We're on page 8 right now. <laughs> I forgot my textbook at home. Can I share with someone? Someone share with him, please. Can someone please share with Blackbeard, please? Pretty please. Alright. So these are the ones we're going to be learning about. They, um... I... <laughs> there are water soluble, as I said. They're organic molecules. And there are micronutrients. Because they're not really needed in super big amounts. They're kind of only needed, like, um... I think the statement was, like, less than... Like, 500 milligrams or something. But I cannot recall. Okay. <clears throat> Why didn't I see this on the syllabus? Read harder. It was in the fine print. You weren't looking at the fine print? God. Not even reading the syllabus. <laughs> These are all water soluble? These are all water soluble. So it's mostly your vitamin B's, your vitamin C, and then choline. Technically, um... For the most part, uh... Like, everything here, everything above this line, all of this is vitamin Bs. These are all vitamin B. <laughs> like, types of vitamin B, right? And then, this is vitamin C. And then choline is kind of its own little thing that's been discovered recently, or so. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> it's practically what it is. Okay. Alright? We good? Okay. So, <laughs> my favorite vitamin is this. I'm so excited. My favorite vitamin is vitamin C. And you'll see why. I'll tell you all about vitamin C. I promise. Alright. What's different about them? Like, why are they different? They named vitamin B1, 2, 3, just based off of when they were discovered. All the differences we're gonna go over here, so it'll be okay. I'll let you know what, like, foods they're in, I'll let you know, uh, what they do specifically, which ones are the important ones, which ones do what jobs, and all that kind of stuff. They're all just called vitamin B because they correlate, I believe, to the same structure, but... Taking notes? Alright, alright. Clearing the void, clearing the void. <laughs> okay. We start, right? <clears throat> so, we're going to start with talking about what groups together. So, pretty often, vitamin B, uh, vitamin Bs, so your B6, folate, and B12, all work together. They work with, uh, metabolic pathways, metabolic pathways. Oh, it path, uh, always. <laughs> and then, um, although vitamin E is, uh, fat soluble, a uh, vitamin, uh, C, Oh my gosh, I write so bad. <laughs> C and E work together, right? Oh my gosh, this is like off the thingy. Fat way. <laughs> I. Right, right, right. Okay. These, so these are oxidized, like antioxidants. So. I talked about oxidative stress before. 
practically what happens if you think of rusting a car. Rusting a car happens because of oxidation. So inside your body that can also happen practically. Not rust because it's not like iron effectively or metal. But there's different ways that it kind of just damages um, cells and whatnot and pathways. So these guys prevent it by binding to oxygen that are free radicals. Is this learning? Yes. <laughs> it is. You can either learn... If you actually want to learn, you can write stuff down. But if you just want to hear me talk, <laughs> that's fine too. You think it will rest us? No, it won't rest us. It prevents resting. Alright. So. Let's talk about the vitamin Bs. Definitely nerdy as more. <laughs> Alright. B1. This is called... Thiamine. Thiamine. Alright, so, thiamine, do you guys happen to know, um, Krebs cycle? <laughs> Probably not. Um, your voice makes you sleepy? That's good. Thi- Guys, it's thiamine, not the thiamine. Alright, so, practically, uh, just think of the breakdown of glucose. Remember how I told you that uh, glucose, or carbs, are one of the easiest forms of sugar and energy in the body. So the breakdown happens that, uh, glucose, which is this, I'm just gonna quickly go over it. Glucose turns into, this is glucose. I'm just gonna call it that. <laughs> this turns into something called a pyruvate. Pyruvate. So this is a, this is a first step, practically. And then it turns into something called S2 coenzyme A. Now why is it called acetyl coenzyme A? Coenzyme A is technically just an enzyme that links to the group. So what happens is, is that during this, one of the carbons is lost to CO2. This is why it's called cellular respiration, because you make CO2, right? That's whenever you breathe out and stuff like that. This is where, that's where it, part of it's going from. Um, and it turns into co something called acetylcholine A, which is carbon-carbon link with something called coenzyme A. Now what is coenzyme A? I don't really know, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's literally just an enzyme. And enzymes are known for catabolic processes, which means that things just go faster, right? Okay, and then this enters something called the Krebs cycle, which I don't really know how to explain other than... Or, oh, oh, yeah, it's a citric acid cycle, but that's also called Krebs cycle. <laughs> um, acid cycle, right? And from this, a whole bunch of electrons are made. So, a whole bunch of electrons are made, right? And some ATP is made. If you don't know what ATP is, it's practically like your cell's energy. It's getting hard to read, I know, I know. <laughs> um, is, better, is there a better colored pen I can use? I feel like that's worse. Maybe this? That's a little easier on the eyes. Um. Citric acid cycle? Yeah. And all those electrons are then used in the electron transport chain. So, I'm not going to really explain it other than... Electron. It electron <laughs> chain. And this practically just makes a crap ton of ATP. Damn. Oh, what's <laughs> it? So? Yay! Lots of ATP. This is how your body gets its energy, right? And that means that your body has more energy to do other things, which is a good thing. <laughs> what does ATP stand for? Adenosine triphosphate. <laughs> um, practically, uh, adenosine is a molecule, right? 
adenosine. I think that's how it's spelled. And it's called tri because there's three phosphates attached to it. So there's a P and a P and a P P <laughs> P P P P. <laughs> and every time one of those phosphate groups break off, um, it releases a lot of energy. So every time ATP is used, it turns into something called adenosine diphosphate, which is ADP, which is the unenergized form of it, because it no longer has that phosphate bond. This is like a stable form of it not having energy, right? If it broke off more than this phosphate, then it would be an unstable molecule and it would probably break apart. How does NAD and FAD work? Oh, that's like a whole different topic. Um, I feel like that's a little out. Uh, if we do get around to NAD and uh, FAD, we can talk about it. But there are different forms of um, energy, practically. Um, they're reduced in different ways. Um, but I'm not going to stray too far out because I do want to cover the vitamins. So let's just keep it down to simple like glucose metabolism and that'll be okay. No skipping ahead. <laughs> yeah. But yes. So this is practically what happens in this chain. So I'll draw a big old line here. So this is how this happens. So one. So one. We have our glucose turning into pyruvate. Two. We have acetyl coenzyme A formation. And then three. We have the Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle. That makes a little bit of electrons. And then four, we have the electron transport chain, which makes a crap ton of ATP. Are you mad if I fall asleep? <laughs> it's a little bit soothing. It's okay, I don't mind if you fall asleep. I encourage you to take a nap if you need the rest. <laughs> okay, so I know this looks really complicated, and like, it's like, what the hell did I just read? Why did she just say all that? Um, it'll make sense when I talk about pi. So, vitamin B1, thiamine, right? Are there any bad vitamins? Not really. Um, the whole term vitamin is coined around the fact that they're supposed to be micronutrients that are good for your body, but there is overdose to vitamins. So having way too much vitamin C is an issue, for example, that can cause bad things to happen. Uh, way too much certain types of vitamin B can also be bad for you. So you have to be mindful that, like, you're not overdosing on fucking vitamins. <laughs> like, don't just, like, you know, if you're feeling sick, do not just eat, like, 8 trillion Flintstone vitamins <laughs> in hopes that it'll get better like that. That's not really how it works. <laughs> you know, overdose? Yeah. That's why, um, for example, uh, orange juice used to be fortified with vitamin C until, um, recently they stopped doing that because kids were actually having bad effects towards, uh, too much, uh, vitamin C. And that limit is called the upper intake. Uh, I believe it's called the upper intake level. Um, it's called, like, uh, it's the tolerable upper intake level. And that means that's the max amount before you start seeing bad effects happen. Eight oranges? I feel like, I don't know, I think that's fine. It's a thing that if you fortify something, you usually put a lot of that vitamin in, right? So if you put a lot, a lot of that vitamin in, and you eat way too much of it, it's a little dangerous as all. Well. Um. Okay, okay. What's the limit for oranges? I don't know, let me check. I probably have the upper intake level. Let me check my notes. Um, toxicity dose is of more than 2 grams. So, 2000 micrograms per day. So, I don't know how much a standard orange usually has. But if you have way too much vitamin C, the toxicity causes diarrhea, nausea, and abdominal cramps very often. 
so don't eat a whole bunch of vitamin C by that. That's... The puzzle of it doesn't make you... Don't flirt... Don't flirt with your teacher, come on. Uh, is it so good? A question, is it possible to die of an, from an overdose on vitamins? Technically, yes. Like, if you have enough bad effects, like, the thing is, you wouldn't die because of the vitamin, you would die because of the consequences of eating too much of that vitamin. For example, like, say I keep eating too much vitamin C, and it causes a lot of diarrhea. Well, diarrhea causes a lot of water loss, right? So if diarrhea, like, if I have consistent diarrhea because of a lot of vitamin C, and I lose all that water, then I can die because I, I lack water now, you know? The three teaching streams just... But that's not how it works. Okay. 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 Alright. Good question though. Good question. Okay. So. Diamond. Specifically. You know that transport chain that I just showed you guys? So, when glucose... This thingy. When glucose turns into a pyruvate. CCC, and then turns into acetylcholine A, which is CCOA. When this happens, you know how I told you that CO2 happens here? It releases CO2? Right, right, right. This is one of diamond's primary roles. Vitamin B1 helps with the release of CO2 from the cycle. And if you think about it, all your cells do this system so much. Like, this glucose metabolism is so important to the body, and it happens so often, which is why thiamine is really important for helping break down glucose. Consequences of uh, anything like ventilating? Uh... Not particularly. It's a cascade. There's, like, a difference before, like, between directly blaming something and saying it's an indirect cause, right? Because I could say walking on the street technically causes me to die because I somehow, like, walk into a building and I walk into the elevator and then the elevator stops working and then I die instantly because of, like, the elevator crash. <laughs> but here's a direct cascade that the lack of vitamin B caused diarrhea. This wouldn't have happened otherwise, or the excess of vitamin B, or vitamin C, caused diarrhea. So that's a direct cause that wouldn't have happened unless I changed that factor. So... It makes sense, right? It's a cascade. Walking anywhere could lead to any cause, right? But not eating, or like eating way too much vitamin C is a direct, like, connection. Does chocolate have vitamins? Technically, some do. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> um, the thing is, is that, like, um, for example, chocolate might have vitamin D, because a lot of milk is fortified with vitamin D. Um, but it will have a lot. It's very, like, not nutrient-dense. <laughs> so it probably has, like, a crumb of vitamin D for the amount of grams you eat. About them scary? <gasps> we'll get to it, I promise. I promise, I promise. Vitamin C is my favorite. We have to go through vitamin C at some point. If we don't go through vitamin C, I'll cry. I'll cry I will. Right now, in front of my class. Is a certified teacher? <laughs> How did you get your teaching license? Uh, um, uh, they're finding out too much. <laughs> okay. So, the other things that it helps with, so, this, because it participates here, this helps with energy production. Ah, toxic. No crying? Can't wait for this zoom up for the vitamin. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright. Are you teaching like she's certified? I want to understand. I understand what was nothing. <laughs> okay. So this helps with energy production, which is associated with this. 
which is carbohydrate metabolism. So just think of it as metabolism. So you know how people say they have fast metabolism and slow metabolism? Uh, the whole difference between that is that like fast metabolism means that you do these like this process really fast, which is why your body doesn't store anything. If you take way too long to do this kind of stuff, then that's why it's called slow metabolism because your body will see the excess and look to store the excess. So that's kind of a really simple way of putting it. Obviously, that's not like the direct thing, but it's about. Um, one thing you should know is that if you ever see a bottle of vitamins, usually it'll say something on the back that says always keep at a temperature between 20 degrees and like 30 degrees or something like that, Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, I'm not American. <laughs> but that's because things like this are sensitive to heat, oxygen, and acidic conditions. So for example, you might see a cotton in the middle of like some of your vitamins or something. That might be absorbing the moisture inside of the bottle. Uh, the capsules are usually quite sealed so that it doesn't come in contact with uh, oxygen at all. And if you've seen that some of your vitamins have life expectancy, practically, to how effective they are to their best before date, and that's also due to oxidation over time. If that makes sense? The cotton, the cotton is a bonus gift. Usually, I'll be honest, usually cotton is usually with anything that contains bacteria. Because obviously moisture will open the capsule and reactivate the, like, practically asleep bacteria. So, that's why when you swallow anything, like let's say lactose intolerance pills, the cotton inside of that is supposed to stay in there to keep the moisture inside of the bottle, uh, pretty dry. <laughs> so that the bacteria don't wake up and then die instantly. <laughs> so, if you see a cotton inside of your bottles, keep them there. <laughs> or you're practically eating nothing at some point. So, yes. Alright, that was vitamin B1. Oh, I should say, where are the sources of this? Whole grains. <laughs> A lot of these will be in whole grains. Whole grains. And again, whole wheat and whole grain is different. You're looking for whole grain. This means that in all the different types of grains are there. Whole wheat just means the entire piece of wheat is there, but that might mean that you don't have the other grains. The other grains are super important. Barley, all that kind of stuff. Important. <laughs> um, usually another good source of this is legumes. And nuts. You're not supposed to eat the cod? <laughs> pills with bacteria? Yeah. For example, um, if you know, like I was just talking about lactose pills. Lactose intolerance pills, the ones that people eat before they drink milk and stuff like that, when they're lactose intolerant, is literally filled with bacteria. <laughs> like, if you didn't know, you're swallowing bacteria so that they digest the milk for you. Because the reason is, is that lactose intolerant people do not have the bacteria colonized in their stomach to digest lactose. Lactose is digested by lactobacillus, for the most part, which is a type of bacteria, which is in those capsules. Now, they're in like a stagnant form, like they're like practically like hibernating in those capsules. I forget what it's kind of called, but moisture reactivates them practically. Multigrain bread is better? Yes, multigrain. Not whole wheat. Whole wheat's good, but whole grain is better. Yeah, because think of it. If it's whole, like you have white bread, and then you have whole grain, and then you have whole wheat. Alright, well, whole wheat and then whole grain. So white bread, absolutely no, like, it's completely grounded out, all the vitamins are out of it. Unless it's been enriched. Usually it gets enriched in, like, iron or something. But whole wheat will have all the pieces of wheat, but it might not have all the other grains that have different types of nutrients, right? The whole basis of nutrients is that you have to have a diverse meal to have all the different types of nutrients. So what you want is something that has a whole bunch of different grains in it. So, it's practically diverse between all your meals. White bread is useless? Yeah, it practically is. <laughs> Unless it's like directly enriched a lot in different ways, but artificial enrichment is never as good as a natural thing. <laughs> Alright. So, um, 
Oh, the deficiency of it? I don't know if you know, like, you want to know this, but the deficiency of diamond is called Berry Berry. <laughs> it's kind of a silly name. Berry? Berry? This is the deficiency. Deficiency. Oh no, I'm starting to write how I like, write my notebooks. <laughs> but, yes, this is what the deficiency is called. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about vitamin B2. This is called... Riboflavin. Have you ever heard of this? Alright, so this is mostly found in, like, dairy products. Dairy products, uh, plants, so, let's say, broccoli, uh, mushrooms, that's okay if you don't know what this is, that's why I'm here. <laughs> uh, just like leafy vegetables too, leafy, I'm just gonna write leafy veggie. <laughs> veggie. Okay. So this one. Its job, if we remember this process, C, C, oh, C, and now we have C, 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 O, O, A. Its job is to enter in this process. And again, these are all, like, all these vitamins affect things, like, sometimes, like, for example, pantothenic acid affects the CO2 release, or, like, the CO2 release here. But, I'm just feeling, like, the most, like, notable ones. So, um... This guy is important in this cycle here. So, this is where B2 is, usually. As well as, he helps with the uptake of other vitamins. So he's kind of like, um, a helping hand. Helping... <laughs> vitamin... Hand. So he helps with the uptake of other vitamins. Um, like I said, he's mostly in dairy products and kind of like some of your plants. But some of the more important ones is actually, uh, pork and beef. So he's also in these. So, we can already see that these are pretty spread out. <laughs> the other thing was mostly in your whole grains. This is in dairy products, this is in veggies, this is in pork and beef. We're starting to go all over the place now, right? So that's why diverse meal is very important. And even if you're, um... Even if you're like vegetarian or have food restrictions and stuff like that, there's always another way to get these kind of things. Like, there's always another way. <laughs> Maybe not the most efficient way in comparison to other foods, but... If you can't eat food, you can, right? Can I go buy some water or something? Mmm, I'll permit it just this once. Okay, okay. Um, oh yeah, the deficiency of this... Wait, wait, wait. The deficiency of this is just called... A viable <laughs> Yeah, it's literally just called that. <laughs> they ran out of fancy fun names. Alright. Do you remember to take the hall pass? Oh shit, he forgot. <laughs> he forgot. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Mm. <laughs> Going to dance class? Ah, oh, good luck, good luck. Did the hope has a gun? Oh god. Sip ghost. I did not. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay, okay. So next we have vitamin B3 
and this is nice. Okay. Um. So this is often added to enriched flowers. So if you ever see a package of flour, if you've ever seen like a package of flour that says like enriched, right? This stuff is in it. Enriched just means that they've added vitamins. And the mountains, mountains. Um. So, <laughs> this one has like a very diverse, um, role, I guess. It's part of energy production. Uh, oh, I always, I always like disconnect my letters back accent. So, Sean. And it's part of just general metabolism. Metabolism. Oh, that's hard to read. Um, it has two different forms of itself. So one of them is called, um, this is gonna sound funny. I know what everyone's gonna think when they hear this, because I thought it too. It's called nico nicotinic acid. Um, and then it has, oh god. Nic Tina am I? Nico, 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 Tina Garcet. Um, it's hard to explain. This one just generally helps with a lot of things, so people just water it down to this. A lot of vitamin B is to do with, like, energy production, so... Hot box in room. <laughs> um... So that's practically their primary role. Some of them have more specified roles. Niacin is kind of everywhere. The deficiency of it is called pellagra. Oh, that looks like my old rug. Um... Because it affects all this, pellagra would cause stuff like... Fatigue. Uh, let's see. What was it? It was, um, like bad appetite. For example, like indigestion. Indigestion. Um, other than that, um, this is like the early stages. In the advanced stages, they call it the three Ds. <laughs> and this is, and again, it deals with energy production and metabolism, right? So by not having enough of it, this can literally cause cause stuff like dementia. Um, for example, uh, diarrhea. Oh god, I spelled that wrong. Yeah, I always spell this word wrong. And, um, last one is dermatitis. So, um, for example, this stuff, so you know how I said that it can cause a cascade if you have too many of one vitamin? For example, thiamine can actually compete with niacin and can cause pellagra without you knowing. <laughs> so, thiamine can cause this. Thiamine overdose can cause this. Because it'll compete with niacin. And compete practically means they're going to fight for absorption into the body. And if it fights too much and there's way too much niacin or thiamine that it beats niacin, then you're not going to get any niacin and it's going to cause pellagra. So that's why, you know, do not eat too much vitamin. Eat the right amount. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. There are other vitamins. These haven't really been named one, two, or three. But this one's called biotin. Um. 
Um, so have vitamins can affect each other? Yes! We can get more into that later because actually, for example, vitamin B12... Uh, I think it's vitamin B12 or B6 can actually mask a uh, folate... Um, uh, what's it called? Oh, like, not having enough folate. Uh, folate deficiency is the word that I forgot. <laughs> okay. So, this one's gonna be important. How many people here like, like sunny side up eggs? I really like sunny side up eggs. Right? How many people here are sunny side up people? I do, you, not me. Okay, fair, fair. Me? Okay, okay. I also have sunny side up things. But there is something about biotin that you should be you should be weary about when you have sunny side effects. So biotin is usually in your uh, in the meats and alternatives. So usually it's found in liver, egg yolk. Um, it can also be found in yogurt and uh, nuts. Really nice cypress. Now, the thing is, is that it might, it's in here, but the cause, the concern is the egg white, actually. There's actually a protein inside of egg whites, and this is called avidin. Avidin um, can actually bind to the, and avidin is only an uncooked. Uncooked <laughs> Uncooked Egg white Now, if you undercook your egg whites Or you eat, like, let's say Uncooked cookies Anything that had eggs mixed in it This stuff, avidin Can bind to biotin And make it unabsorbable Again, when Avidin is cooked and heated up, it'll, um, it'll practically just unfold. I don't really know how to explain it, other than when proteins are heated up enough, they'll just disassemble almost. They'll lose their formation, and sometimes they can reform themselves by themselves, but other times, they need something else to reform them. So just think of it as, like, um... You know, like, sometimes those toys that you can, like, really squish? Like, for example, um, those, like, really squishy, like, donuts or something? They kind of look like little donuts. And you can squish them, and then they'll reform. They're, like, the soft foam. Some proteins can be put in immense heat, which will squish them. And then, when the heat is gone, it'll reform by itself. But other things are kind of, like, plastic. Where it'll have, like, let's say... This form, and then overheat, it'll turn into like this, like you know, like those little cups that you can press down. It'll turn into a different form, but it needs a helper. I don't know. Let's draw like a little hand here. It needs a helper that will reform himself for him. That doesn't really look like a hand. <laughs> he needs a friend that will put him back in his previous state. Now, this kind of just happens with, um... It just depends what the protein is. Some of them need help putting them together. Um... There's no idea that it's from here I am. Thanks, of course. Uh, some of them don't need help and they can just reform by themselves. This one cannot reform by itself. So once it's heated up enough, it'll just die. <laughs> Which is a good thing, because then that means it doesn't cause deficiency. But, um... What's it called? It's called denaturation. I was like, I was gonna switch it up, but then I remembered. Um, so, that whole unfolding process over here is called denaturation, which causes the protein up to unfold. Because if you think of it, like, you know how I told you the amino acids? Going back to the first biology thing I did, amino acids look like this. Right? And this is a protein. This is an amino acid. This is what proteins are made of. This is a protein. 
And now what happens is, is that in the body, so the protein can function for different things, the body will just fold it in different ways. And this is a simplification of it. But it'll fold it in weird ways, and for some reason folding it like this will just make it function. <laughs> Why does that work? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, it's a little complicated, but that's just how it goes. So, what happens- or I should write. What happens over here? Is that it'll return to this form. The unfolded form, and that's called denaturation. I miss my AP bio class. <laughs> I love vitamins so much. <laughs> so, cooking, for example, cooking an egg white will cause it to denaturate or unfold, and therefore it can no longer bind to biotin, as long as you cook it. Now, that's why I see anyone with sunny side up eggs that says like, Oh, I get a lot of biotin from egg yolks. Well, you gotta be careful that you don't have this floating around or else it'll bind to it and it, you're not getting any of that, right? So, yes, yes, yes. Um, so, this isn't gonna make a lot of sense to people who don't really know about this, but, um, it's, this thing is important in something called gluconeogenesis. Um, I, I know it sounds funny. Um, practically what that means is that uh, yeah, wait. Gluco... Neo... Genesis. When I first heard this, I was thinking of, like, Evangelion. Uh, Evangelion. Like this? Right? This term... Gluco stands for sugar, right? That's our sugar. Neo means Neo. And Genesis means formation. Or to form, right? Sugar new form. <laughs> what does that mean? If you really change that, you can kind of say new sugar is formed. Your body can do a process called gluconeogenesis that happens if the body doesn't have enough sugar and it wants to use precursors that are found within the body to practically form new glucose. So your body will do this process if it needs more glucose to process, like to function. And it just uses precursors to make new glucose. It's a very complicated system. I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to let you know that your body knows how to form new parts of sugar. As long as it has the ingredients for it. Now this is a very like energy heavy process and everything. So this is not... Your body would rather you eat than it do all the work to make this. Um, but this thing... Biotin is important for this process. And this process is just generally pretty important. Um, the reason why it does that, and I'll just write this for anyone who wants a refresher if they've done a biology course before, or a nutrition course, is that um, it's a coenzyme, technically. So it'll attach to something to activate a process, right? Or practically catalyst. It's a catalyst. That's what enzymes are. It's a coenzyme that helps add C-O-O-H So C-O-O-H is a pretty important molecule um, If you ever take organic chemistry, you'll see it a lot It looks like this uh, The R just stands for a random uh, Either a carbon or a hydrogen And then it'll be double bonded to here Why is this important? Oh my god, don't get me started. <laughs> Just know that this double bonded oxygen is super important for reactions. So this is, for example, like, synthesis of things. If you've ever taken organic chemistry, you will get, like, war flashbacks seeing this. I'm gonna pass this class. <laughs> same here, same here. I'm in the same boat. I've been taking a organic chem class right now, and oh, holy Christ. <laughs> Um, okay, so biotin, this is practically all you need to know what it does. Avoid uncooked eggs, and know that it's in this, and also in yogurt and nuts, right? Mostly in your meats here. Um, liver, super nutrient dense. 
I know that a lot of people don't like eating leather, and it's a very, like, weird taste, but genuinely, a lot of organs have a lot of good nutrients, unless it's a fatty organ, which is gonna sound weird, but, um... Obviously, usually stuff like liver is known to, like, store a lot of different types of nutrients. Uh, kidneys, probably not. <laughs> kidneys filter bad stuff out, so I, I don't think it has too much in it that's good. But, um... I think I can only think of liver right now. I can't really think of any other organs that are, like, great. Maybe the heart, but I don't think a lot of people eat that. <laughs> Um, I think like, uh, like for example, oh, but like the heart would probably be really iron dense. Like think of it, it's the thing that like processes a lot of blood. It probably is pretty iron dense. <laughs> I've never had liver, am I missing out? It's pretty good. I like it personally, but some people don't like it because it has it's very i want to say depending how you cook it if you like completely overcook it it can be like a little um what's it called it can be a little gritty i guess but yeah ones i've had are pretty peppery yeah yeah the ones i had are like were overcooked so it was a little like Gritty almost, but it's fine. <laughs> Your heart is okay. Oh, I've never really eaten heart, if I'm honest. I'm gonna devour a heart one day. <laughs> Barrel style. I'm gonna grab it with my bare hands. <laughs> okay, our next B vitamin is Pam. Pill. Say it. Nick. I see. Oh, yeah, nerd stuff? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Are you scared to try liver? <gasps> it's not that bad. It's really not. You already have our hearts? Well, I don't want to devour your hearts. That'd be mean. <laughs> um, this one is also pretty heavy in the meats. Meats. Egg yolk. Um, this one can also be found in whole grains. Legumes. These ones are pretty good. Um, okay. This one is again part of the glucose thing. Again, like I said, vitamin B, super important in like, what's it called? Like the, uh, production of, like, ATP, or energy. Metabolism of glucose is probably what it's called. C, C, C. You're gonna see this a lot. Um, C, 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 O, A. <laughs> right? I take a sip of water. <laughs> you did my homework with us? <laughs> I actually already passed this class. I got a 98. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd and I really like this class, so I studied it really hard. <laughs> so, this pentothenic acid is actually. Oh, freak. This stuff is actually part of coenzyme A. And this thing is necessary for the metabolism because it's a coenzyme, right? So, that means it's a. Um, that means it's. Ah, uh, what's it called? It's a catalyst. So it helps the process happen faster. Otherwise, without this thing, this would probably not enter the Krebs cycle without it. So it's like, oh, stop, you fuzzy feeling. <laughs> Isn't it too sweet? Um, it's part of that, as well as part of, um, cholesterol slash uh, fatty Acid synthesis. And oh, before you panic and read this and be like, isn't cholesterol and fatty acids bad? They're fine in good amounts. Again, 
We still need fatty acids to function in the body. And there's good cholesterol, which I might go to later, but we could probably talk about, like, cholesterol and good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. But again, like I said, bad cholesterol, LDL, good cholesterol, HDL. Um, <clears throat> this thing, funnily enough, is actually really high in, uh, sunflower seeds. <laughs> I used to eat, I, um, I have a bad habit of, like, picking up my, like, lip. <laughs> this is a random tangent. But, I have a bad habit of picking up my lip. So, what I like to do, for the most part, is that when I'm studying and stuff like that, I like to eat sunflower seeds. <laughs> Does Bubba have anything to do with this topic? That would've been last time. We talked about alcohol last time. I talked about how alcohol, um... Alcohol actually gives you more energy than carbs do. But of course not in a good way. <laughs> um... <clears throat> alcohol gives you seven, uh... What is it? It gives you seven kcals per gram, I'm pretty certain. Or seven calories per gram. Not kcals. It gives you seven calories per gram. Just biting your lip? I don't bite my lip, I just pick at it sometimes. Oh, I crack one open? No, it's not good for you. Eating too much, so like, not nutrients-dense energy isn't good, because then your body stores it. That's why people get beer guts, right? Because they're drinking so much alcohol that their body doesn't know what to do with the extra energy. So what they do is that they store it, and then they store it in the tummy. <laughs> and that's why some people get beer guts. So you lip bite? I don't lip bite. <laughs> Why is it funny? Alright. Here are the pretty cool vitamin Bs. We're gonna get to vitamin... I don't know why I wrote vitamin this time. And then... B6. This one has a fancy name, so don't remember it. <laughs> no one remembers it like this. Period. Was it Doxin? No one remembers it like this. What about vodka? That's not with alcohol. Alcohol is alcohol. Alcohol is an organic molecule. So because it's an organic molecule, it has a lot of carb or like carbon in it. Carbon, carbon, hydrogen, uh, oxygen. So your body will treat it as if it's almost like a sugar. Why in the tummy though? Um, honestly, alcohol. Uh, it's probably because alcohol is absorbed near the intestines, and then your body just stores it there. But a lot of the time where fat is stored is often uh, genetic-wise. But it's more common for women to have fat stored in, like, the hip area and the legs. Just because, like, I don't know. It's just anatomy. <laughs> and then for men, it's often stored in the abdominal region. Um... And, funnily enough, men drink a lot more water than women, and women are more fat-dense than men. Um, by, like, statistic. Uh, women often have a lot more fat, and that's often because of, like, the, you know, the biology and the circle of life of women needing a lot of extra energy for when they have babies. <laughs> and they need a lot of extra energy to give the child, they'll store a lot more fat for that kind of thing. In comparison to men that don't store as much fat, but they have a lot of water intake. And I don't know why the water intake is different. I think it's probably because of the uh, size of the person. Like, uh, men are often taller than women. So, your body probably needs water a lot more to go through out the entire body. Stuff like that. That's how you think that. Alcohol is a macronutrient, right? Um, not really. You could classify it as, like, associated with macronutrients. Because our macronutrients are proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. But alcohol isn't a carbohydrate, per se. Um, because carbohydrate is, like, mm, it's categorized by monosaccharide, disaccharide, um, and then complex sugars, like starch or, uh, glycogen, stuff like that. Uh, alcohol isn't necessary for the body to function in comparison to, for example, uh, things will shut down 
like if you don't have enough glucose or carbs in the body, uh, fat soluble vitamins will not be absorbed if you don't have fat in the body. Um, for example, uh, protein is super important for amino acids and stuff like that, which are important for building certain types of muscle and all that kind of thing. Alcohol is just exchanged into a fat, practically. Or into a carb. I don't know which one, actually, if I'm honest. But it's broken down so it can re-enter the, like, uh, glucose metabolism cycle. Which isn't really necessary if you just have glucose. <laughs> so, yes. But yes, hence, <laughs> pure belly. <laughs> no, drinking, got it. Exactly, drinking's bad. And drinking is actually bad for, like, the neurons, you know? So, don't do that. <laughs> Once a month? Okay, I will say this, and I'm not saying I condone excessive drinking, okay? But, you are limited to a small amount of wine, is what's known to be good. Um, this is based off of something called, um... What is it called? Oh, what's it called? What's it called? I, I know it first. It starts with meso. Or something like that. Um. Oh, oh no, not meso. It's Mediterranean. Um. Hello, hello. Hi, Zay. Hi. Um. The Mediterranean diet is known to be one of the best diets, which originated from, I believe, Italy, which is where people consumed small amounts of wine every so often, uh, consumed a lot of olive oil, which is a good type of that, um, was very veggie-heavy, like, leafy veggie-heavy, so... Um... How many shots of rum chata is okay? <laughs> I don't think that kind of stuff is good. <laughs> when are we all gonna share some rum chata together? <laughs> Okay. So pyridoxine, the only reason I mentioned that is that it's broken down into three groups. Pyrid... Oh, pyrid... Doxyl... <coughs> pyrid... Pyridoxine... And... Pyridox... And... All these suffixes just mean, like, there's a different bond near the ends. So, like, it's really, like, they all contribute in their own ways. Um, some of these are interchangeable with each other. So, um, all of these can turn into something called, um, it's pyridoxal phosphate. And don't worry about all these words. I'm just saying these for anyone who wants to know about this. Um. And this is just an enzyme. <laughs> this, is, this is just important because it's an enzyme. <laughs> and again, that means it affects a whole bunch of metabolic pathways and whatnot. Um. It's pretty heavy in meats. I'll talk about what vitamin B6 does later, but... This... Meats. <laughs> Mostly found in, um, chicken is a good one. Chicken, lentils, uh, pork is usually the ones that are found here. Um, I'm gonna time you out because you're being a baby. <laughs> if you're uninterested, the door would be right there. <laughs> um... So, practically, this guy works with neurons, funnily enough. So then the void, I don't know, some people feel the need to be like, I'm bored. I'm bored. It's like, okay. <laughs> There's 18 other tabs on YouTube, I promise you. <laughs> um, so, if you know what a neuron looks like, he kind of looks like this, and he has like a whole bunch of little things here. And then he has that weird little like head that has a whole bunch of little spikies on him. 
and that's where this nucleus is, and he has like a little tail, right? Final point, ah, oh, it's all good. Um, this is where this is helpful. It's lipid synthesis. Yes, 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 yes. This is called myelin. If you want to uh, refresh it, myelin. But yes, dendrites. <laughs> um, but yes, he is important in making something called myelin, which is coating that's put on top. It's a lipid coating that's important for neurons. Um, it's just normal, it's for nerve, uh, nerve transmission. So, it's so things can go through here. Right? Things need to go and pass through this area. There's a connection inside of the cell here. So it's important for that. So yes. <clears throat> Is that axon? Yes, 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 yes. What a handsome neuron. <laughs> I want to get the neuron uh, plushie. And I want to call it chat. <laughs> I'll carry a neuron with me everywhere I go. Looks like a worm. It kind of is. It kind of does look like a worm. It's a very interesting looking cell. If anything. Okay. I'm not gonna fully explain the process that I'm about to show. Because this is gonna look really confusing. Because we're getting into pretty complicated stuff now. <laughs> um. Okay. Let me see how I'm gonna explain that. The one neuron we share? Exactly. So. B6. Folate. Oh god, this is gonna be really hard. Methyl. Folate. Then there's. B12 here. And methyl. B12. And I'll let you guys know what the important parts of this is, so it's not too complicated. Protein. Amino acid. Methylene. I'll move it over in a second. Um. Homocysteine. And Okay, I think that's good. I'll show you guys this. I know it looks super complicated. I'll let you know what the important parts are. There you go. Okay. So this thing right here, homocysteine. This causes cardiovascular disease. <laughs> so you should just know that this causes cardiovascular disease. <laughs> so this thing bad, right? This thing no good. You don't want this thing. <laughs> this thing is really bad. You don't want this. So what happens is is that for this process to happen, to make it cysteine, which is a safe version, um, vitamin B6 is important here. This is why it works. Right here. So, it prevents cardiovascular disease because of this really big, complicated process. You should just know that this part is the important part. Is that homocysteine causes cardiovascular disease. Vitamin B6 assists in making homocysteine into just cysteine. So, Good. I know I wrote vitamin B6 over here. The reason why this is important um, is because it helps uh, turn folate into methylfolate. And as you can see, all these arrows interconnect and all come back to this process. So all of this, vitamin B6 cascades to methylfolate here, and then it goes through this process and helps B6 like B12 turn into methyl B12, and methyl B12 helps this homocysteine turn in meth into methionine, which means it's in a safe form again. It's a lot of preventative measure. 
big complicated thing, all you needed to know is that B6 helps this process keep away from cardiovascular disease. Plaque? Um, I'm not certain if it's specifically plaque. Um... It's more so high levels in blood, if anything. I don't know if it causes plaque. <laughs> this is amazing, thank you! Okay, okay. Yen, that thing found in lentils. A lot of lentils. Uh, you can find it in leafy greens. Leafy greens are pretty good. Okay, now what is folate? <laughs> what the frick is folate? Folate. <laughs> Ever pit? Uh huh? I'm not gonna say that because I'm scared. <laughs> Um, I'm scared, I'm scared. Anything that chat says that I don't know, I'm, I'm terrified of. Alright, so this guy, the reason why you hear this a lot, is that he is important in something called DNA synthesis. So, this is super important, right? Um, this is also called, you'll also see it called full, oh, oops, I spelled it wrong, folic, folic acid. Do you hate those? I don't hate you guys. I'm just scared. You guys say things that I don't understand sometimes. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, we've gone through so much already. That's crazy. Um. So this is the synthetic form. So you might see this as in uh, enriched with folic acid. It might be written in the ingredients, folic acid, and stuff like that. This is just the artificial form, which works practically just as well. Obviously, natural is better, but but if you can get it, you can get it. Uh, unification of quantum mechanics and relativity next. God damn. I don't, I'm not good at physics. <laughs> I can tell you all about the cell structure. I can tell you all about... Uh, vitamins. I can tell you about bacteria classification. Um, I can tell you about cell walls of bacteria. <laughs> I can tell you about gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. I can tell you about lactobacillus and some tallows on the lactose. <laughs> Prion sex? I actually could. I knew that. What's the difference between them and how they're formed? Uh, it's just like the chemical structure. Usually, if there's any, any time they see that there's an artificial thing, and like they give it a different name. Um, <laughs> sorry. I just think fucking like, I want to learn about prion disease. <laughs> it's so silly. You guys are so cute. Um, <laughs> let me see, should I write the structure of them? Um, usually it's just cause, uh, there'll be one bond that's different that's hard to make, um, what's it called, artificially? So they'll make something close enough that it works, right? My cat just be so... Um... <laughs> Um, I, I don't know the structure or something. I'm trying to see if I have a note about the structure, but I don't think so. Not flirting so loud? What? Do I flirt? Um, yeah, it's just like, it's just one bond. It's just one bond that causes it to be called folic acid, from what I can see. Um, it seems to be a double bond to oxygen, if anything, but, uh, again, I'm not too certain, because I didn't memorize the chemical structure of folate, like, I know the chemical structure of, like, carbons and stuff like that, but I'm not very keen on, uh, what's it called, folate structure, but, um, so this is also important in the metabolism, I'm getting a fucking notification, oh my god, that was so goddamn um, uh, uh, 
some amino acids. <laughs> I call amino acids AAs. It's so short of me to read it. <clears throat> Oh, that's cute, that counts? What? I mean, as in, like, you guys are admirable, you know? Um, so, the really important things about this... Is that this? The deficiency? Hello? Hello? See? I knew that some I was a great way to teach. <laughs> the deficiency of this is called neural tube defects. So this just means, um... This is why if, if you ever read anything about nutrition of pregnancy, I assume not a lot of you do. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised because you guys are probably not, like, mothers or about to be mothers, <laughs> so... <laughs> um, if you ever... Have a loving family in the future. You find a gorgeous wife and you guys decide to settle down. And it's finally time. You finally decided it's time to raise a family. Um. When, you know, when the wifey... <laughs> when things happen and a child is being made. Before that happens, by the way. Um. You should make sure that she's getting a lot of this. Uh, folate is known to prevent neural tube defects, which means that the development of the brain won't be hashed. <laughs> like, neural tube defects can, uh, cause, like, uh, automatic, um, what's it called? It's like a thing when the baby's born and it, they die instantly. Um, like, part of the brain won't be formed. Like, part of limbs won't be formed and stuff like that. It's very dangerous. So... And then go study boys, be ready? Exactly, how do you understand? So this thing, super important for women. Specifically, super important. But in general, um, low folate intake can cause, um, a risk for heart disease. Heart disease. So it can cause risk for heart disease. He had a lot of noise. There's some say there, wife is a dragon. She also need the vitamin also. I think so, yeah. I think I'll I'll wait, I'm a wife. I know. Don't, don't, don't say that. Not after what I just talked about. That, 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 that's crude. Hey. <laughs> but look, I am I'm fine. I, I I eat all my vitamins and everything, okay? I don't need consolation about my my, my vitamin intake, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I eat, you see, I can <laughs> I have vitamins. See, and in here, it has 400 micrograms. I have 400 micrograms. What is it, slash? Micrograms of folate. I didn't see it here. Folic acid, 400 micrograms. Okay. I have a book. I'm just saying it looks like... Wait, let me check. I forget. I think that's a map I made. <laughs> didn't say no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I eat my vitamins. No, I am... I, I don't want heart disease. <laughs> Are gummy vitamins effective as other supplements? No. Hello, hello! So, if you think about it, um, just the process of chewing, right? Means that you lose more vitamins by part of the gummy sticking to the teeth. Um, just mostly that, <laughs> if you think about it. Um, also, to like make gummies, it's probably very condensed with sugar. <laughs> so, vitamin gummies, with all the chewing that happens, you probably lose a lot of the vitamins till just like sitting in your mouth and they're never absorbed. In comparison to pills where you just swallow it and it goes directly to the stomach, they're still lost because it'll go in water or it'll touch your tongue and everything like that. But there's less loss in comparison to gummies, right? The swallowed gummies? Well then just take pills at the point. Let's everyday spend let's everyday not spend on so you can be hard to see stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, okay. So you know that giant big chart I drew before? Like the big circles, like this thing, and then like this like cascade down, right? You know how I talked about how homocysteine? Homocysteine causes um this can cause uh heart disease, right? This this thing I talked talked about cardiovascular disease. Okay. If we think back about when I talked about uh this circle right here has to do with folate. So if you have no folate, this circle right here doesn't happen. Which means this entire cascade goes all the way down and it comes down to here where homocysteine is not converted. And that's bad. <laughs> right? We're trying to get rid of this thing. This thing bad. I don't want it. Plus it's hard to see. It's bad. So if you want to think of it, B6 is right here. Folate is in this circle. Folate. And B12 is in this circle. So all of these are very important in the prevention of this thing. <laughs> so, that's why they're usually grouped together. They're also just known to be grouped together for, um, what's it called? Uh, just meta like single carbon metabolism. So, the glucose cycle I talked about. They're really important in that as well. But this is like the health concern for the most part, right? Kids, because most kids are not used to the medicine flavor or taste. Yeah, most kids have a hard time swallowing pills, right? Was I eat then a wise surgery? Oh, for folate. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, really quickly, I'm just gonna go over this other thing, um, about folate. Uh, because I talked about how, um, it's important in DNA synthesis, right? If it's important in DNA synthesis, um, like, what the frick does that mean? You know, like, we all know that DNA is the center of the cell, right? But, like, you know, what does it actually help with? Now, folate itself, as I said, DNA... Let's pull it. Sorry. We were in, like, the calmest neighborhood ever. It's not cool. Okay. <laughs> What's has to do with... Red blood cell <laughs> formation. Uh, why is B6 called B6 if it contains B12? It doesn't contain B12. Um, they're just related to the same cycle. B6 is its own thing, folate's its own thing, B12 is its own thing. But they all work together in a huge complicated system to help each other with do different things. Right? So it doesn't particularly turn into B12. It helps with the formation of types of B12. So methyl B12 is just a methylated version, which helps it commit to another process. So it's hard to explain. Other than, like, let's say, um... The way I like to say it is that it's like giving people a bus pass, or like a pass to do something. So let's say I have the whole pass, right? So folate, when it has a hall pass, can go to B6 and tell B6, you need to go over here. And then B6 goes, oh, I need to go over there. And he's like, yep. And he gives him the hall pass. And then B6 takes the hall pass and goes over to B12. And then B12 gets the hall pass. Well, technically, the system I'm saying is wrong. So it's B6 gives folate the hall pass. Folate gives B12 the hall pass. And now they can all do their entire function. But they have to lose that hall pass in the process, right? <laughs> My body's doing all this stuff and I didn't authorize it. This is automatically. Okay, so right, red blood cell formation. So what happens is, is that you know that your red blood cells are made in your bones. Like your bone marrow, right? This is mostly where it's known to be made. So, in your bones, with folate, Um, with, without, right? With folate, your cells will divide properly, like this. Normal cell division. What will happen if you don't have folate 
it will just make this gigantic bloob. <laughs> and this is called a megaloblast. And later on when it's fully developed, see these guys will just make nice little blood cells. When he is fully developed, he's going to just make like a big old guy. <laughs> and this is called a macrocyte. Right? Not the blob, he's a giant bean! And this is called, if you read this, it's called Mega Loblast Anima. So, the efficiency of folding is called Megoblastic Anemia. And this is what will happen. As your cells will divide properly because DNA synthesis does not occur properly. And this also happens with like the development of the brain and babies. This happens with the development of other cells. Uh, specifically more so in the spine, in the spinal cord. If it has incorrect development because of a uh, neural tube defect, um, either Part of the spine will be exposed when born, or part of the brain will not be formed. Which is obviously, like, fatal. <laughs> um, the spine being exposed, I don't think is as fatal, but it's... I think it, um, causes the loss of function in the waist below. So that's why it's very important that, um, it's often said that, uh, if you're expecting a baby, you should often eat a lot of folate before you even try to, like, I don't know, pregante. <laughs> like, it should be way before, like six months to a year before. Like, you should be on top of your vitamins. Or you could just be Mia and always be on top of your vitamins. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee, yeah. Okay, so we have vitamin B12. We have the exact... Prepare for anything? What do you mean prepare for anything? What does that mean? <laughs> what I mean? Well, that's, that's, that's not what I mean. I'm not like... I, I just do that because I don't want megaloblastic anemia. <laughs> Enough it! Stop! 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 Are you ready? No, no, that's not what I say. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. I just really have fucking babies. I just do it out of the own good of myself. I don't have megaloblastic anemia stuff because I want babies. I'm too young to have babies. And in this economy, do you think I could have babies? <laughs> My god. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> okay. So B12, B12 is important in the, uh, the thingy here, like this thingy again, remember? He's important for getting homocysteine. Uh, I'm just gonna write it like that. He's important for getting homocysteine into his precursor, into this way, because there's two different ways. It can either go down or up. B12 will cause it to go up. So, if, like, into its previous form, practically, quote-unquote. So, um, this is kind of called methionine, which is a type of, uh, amino acid. It'll just help convert it back upwards, as well as, um, importantly enough, during this process going down, uh, there's something called DNA methylation. DNA methylation. So, what did you just say? Did you say the funny stuff? So, so. <laughs> um, this is called DNA methylation. If you've ever heard about this, um, it practically tells what parts of. So, you have this giant piece of DNA, right? And it has all this different information and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes you don't want that information to always be read. Like, for example, 
Um, let's go play Zipoto. Um, for example, when you want to apply to somewhere online, right? Let's say you want to log into a place or create an account, right? When you, with all the information you have online, let's say this is like, you know, my social security number. <laughs> this is just my name. This is my email. And this is like my address. With all the information that you have online from all these different websites, every time you sign up for somewhere, you do not want to just drop all of this information into like the website, right? When you sign up for anything, you only probably need like your name and email. So with the uh, DNA methylation, we'll practically put these giant blobs of methyl and just like we'll methylate it, right? We'll put these giant blockers so that that information cannot go through, right? No information goes through, only this stuff goes through because it's exposed. Great, not doxed. I'm so glad that Amazon has not sold all my info to like, I don't know, Disney Plus. Great, amazing. Okay, so this is what that does. <laughs> It'll close certain pathways so that when development is happening, that, for example, the neural tube will close properly. That's an important thing that B12 does. So again, back to neural tube defects. It's important on that. Now B12, wait, did I talk about where folate's from? I don't think I told you guys where you can get folate a lot from. Um... Okay, 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 let me run it back really quickly. Uh, the thing is, is that, weirdly enough, um... A lot of things are, uh, what's it called? Fortified with folate? Um... <clears throat> Often folate is taken in tablets. Hi, sir. Hi. Um, usually for specifically, I'll write it over here. Folate will be found in folic greens, well, vegetables, slash leafy, veggies. Um, often found in lentils. Uh, Often found in beans and often found in nuts, right? Oh my god, I'm writing with so bad, I'm sorry. But it's okay. Why is your mouth not moving? It's because I have a mic in front of me. So sometimes when I hide underneath the mic or if I look down to like look at my notes, or if I am over here writing, sometimes my camera cannot reach where my face is, so. Maybe it's supposed to all drop that in your morals? Whoops, we are, yes. Ventriloquism, holy shit, I'm practicing, it's okay. So yes, that's where folate's found. Now, for specifically vitamin B12, since that's what we're talking about, um, this is super heavy in meats again. This is one of the ones that will only be found in a specific category. Pork, for example, beans, or what? Actually, I don't think beans have it. It's beef that has that. Beef, trout. So all of these have it, but these are all in meats and alternatives. So this is one of those ones that you can't just not eat something like that. So often a lot of um, beans are meats. Well, it's a meat. Oh no, it's an alternative. <laughs> like I'll call it that. Um. So. That's why it's, like, trout is known to have, like, a lot of vitamin in it. Like, trout, salmon, very strong. Um. I assume no coffee beans. <laughs> no coffee beans. Um. Okay, okay. So, that's where you can find vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is one of those ones that often you need supplementation if you're a vegetarian. Uh, or vegan, more specifically. Uh, the anemia associated with this one is called pernicious anemia. Uh, this means that you won't respond to iron as well, like iron supplementation. Um, 
it's necessary. This thing is super important for iron absorption, by the way. Like, this is also important for iron absorption. Absorb. Shun. <laughs> Running out of seeds. It's really important for iron absorption, all of that kind of stuff. Um, mostly found in animals. Um, but yes, yes, yes. Um, the reason why it's, uh, important for that is, um, mostly what I can call it. Oh, oh, okay. One other thing about vitamin B12 is that it's very special in terms of it really needs a helper to get it absorbed into the body. So when you, like, eat something, right, and you have, like, your stomach... This is a re okay, wait, I need to draw this the other way, the way that humans have it, smile. Um. And you go into, like, your intestine, and I'm gonna draw this really big. This, I know this doesn't look like an intestine, just think that it's, like, expanding. <laughs> what happens if it doesn't absorb iron? Um, I wanna, like, I can talk about iron later, but iron is super important in terms of making hemoglobin, which is why a lot of... A lot of people are iron deficient, which means is that they, um, often when you stand up too quickly, you'll black out a little. That's because the blood flow isn't fast enough to get oxygen to the, like, from the legs to the brain and everything. Um, that's super important. Most people are iron deficient. <laughs> I'll say that now. A lot of people are very iron deficient. Which means not enough oxygen is processing through the body as fast, because iron is an important part of something called hemoglobin. Which is what's in the red blood cells that transports oxygen throughout the body. And red blood cells are, of course, in your veins and arteries, and that's what gets oxygen around the body. I'm iron deficient. <laughs> it's very common, so don't worry. Like, you shouldn't feel ashamed of your iron deficient. Just know that vitamin C helps with absorbing iron, specifically from plants. And I'll get to that later. But there's something called heme iron and non-heme iron. If you eat a lot of meats and stuff like that, there's often heme iron, which is easily and readily absorbed into the body. Uh, if you eat a lot of broccoli and spinach, uh, dark greens, they often um, have something called non-heme iron, which doesn't have something called a heme group, which helps it get like readily absorbed into the body, which is why it's important to have vitamin C, which will help you more easily absorb iron. Right? Kids say that there's no right here. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a normal thing for some people. Yeah. It's it's very common. It's very, very, very common. So. Like, I'm not surprised by it, you know? So, okay. Let's talk about B12, right? I'm just gonna draw circles for B12. It enters the body. Now, when it goes through the body, when it gets to this point here, B12 sits here and does not just... So, if you don't know, the way that your body gets nutrients is that it enters usually the, uh, the small intestine. So if you think of like, you know, you have your stomach and then you have like the thing that goes like this a whole bunch in like different directions. And then you have the colon which goes like this around it. <laughs> right? You usually see something like that. This is where most of your nutrients in the squiggly lines is absorbed. So in this area. So, if it doesn't, if B12 doesn't have its buddy, it's called an intrinsic factor, but we'll just call it IF. His buddy is usually made in the stomach and travels with him over here. Now, if they attach to each other, that's great. Now it can be absorbed into the body. But if they aren't attached, and you don't have that intrinsic factor, no intrinsic factor means no absorption. This won't happen. So, the intrinsic factor is readily made by the body. So, like, it's not too much of a worry, but it's just a good fact to know that, um, for example, if you have damage in the stomach, uh, if you have an autoimmune disease of sorts that destroys those kind of cells, uh, etc., etc., um, B12 is not easily absorbed into the body. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I know it's kind of complicated, but. Okay. <gasps> Are you guys ready? For my favorite vitamin? Favorite vitamin? 
favorite Spider-Man, favorite Spider-Man. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember? Do you guys I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, let's get some going. Vitamin C time? Yes! Vitamin C here. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about Vitamin C. And oh, it's called Ascorbic Acid. Oh, it's called Ascorbate. Um. A lot of scientists like to use this word instead of acid, like this. So, uh, you'll see that a lot in amino acids, but that doesn't matter. Now, vitamin C is um, very sensitive, actually. It's very sensitive to oxygen. It's very sensitive to light. <laughs> Funny enough. Um, ooh, light. <laughs> It's very sensitive to, um, heat. <laughs> I don't want to write all these down, so I'm drawing them. <laughs> it's very sensitive to heat. It's also very sensitive to copper. Or copper. I should write it like this. Which is sometimes in pens. So, he's kind of a baby. <laughs> he does have a lot of deep bombs. But what's important about him... Is that, and this will make a lot of sense because I'm certain everyone knows a good portion about uh, uh, scurvy. But he has a coenzyme, right? Uh, for the production of collagen. Now, this will make sense when I draw it out. Just remember collagen, and it's also um, an antioxidant. And I'll talk about this too. Right? And it aids in iron absorption. Right? He's so, 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 so. <laughs> so it just helps with the immune system, right? Now I'll tell you this right now. How many par like how many people like have a parent that tells you to like eat oranges or eat vitamin C whenever you're sick. Has anyone told you this before? To like eat oranges and whatnot? No one teach it ever since I'm a girl, so it's like silly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you a secret right now. Vitamin C preventing sickness. Um only helps when you eat it ahead of time, before you get sick. No, it only helps at the if you eat it immediately as you soon, like, as soon as you're starting to feel sick. So let's say you're, like, feeling like, for example, for me, I felt an onset of a cough, and I was like, I gotta eat vitamin C, like, is up. Because <laughs> I haven't been recently. But usually, eating vitamin C while you're sick won't do anything because it cannot prevent the damage ahead of time. Like, or later, I mean. It can only prevent the damage when it's ahead of the system. So, you have to eat vitamin C before you're already having the bad symptoms of it. For example, um... Let's say... Like, again, let's use the cough example again. If you're starting to feel a bit of a sore throat, that's a good time to start eating it. But if you're already coughing and you have a lot of phlegm and like all that kind of stuff, eating vitamin C might help a little, but it won't help as much. So if you're starting to feel sick and you feel like you haven't been eating enough vitamin C, maybe that's a good time to uh, up it. But if you're already eating it a lot and you're just getting sick, you just kind of got to hope. <laughs> but yes. Now, I certainly know where we can get vitamin C. Oranges. <laughs> Oranges. <laughs> These are actually found in kiwis, too. Kiwis are also really good. Uh, strawberries. Uh, already here. Strawberry. Uh, cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Also, it's also pretty good. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you eat kiwi skins on? No, I, um, I'm very sensitive. <laughs> so, uh, the scratchy roughness of, like, kiwi skin is not my favorite. Oh, yes. Uh -uh. I haven't seen tomatoes. Thanks. Like, what the fuck did I see? I feel like I, I haven't heard of that. Like, it might have some. Um, but it won't have as much as you need, for example. So, like, everything probably has a little vitamin in it, a sort. So I could say that, oh, like, you know, a random fruit probably has, like, vitamin B6 or something. But it won't have enough that it'll supplement you unless you eat it in insane amounts. It's kind of like the banana radiation thing. You know how everyone says that banana has radiation in it? Because of, like, what's in it? Like, that's only if you eat a crap ton of bananas. So, yes. 30 watermelons a day. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, imagine... Uh, okay, okay. Let me think. Um? So, let's talk about some of the, the breakdown of what vitamin C does. Because it's my favorite and I want to nerd out about it. <laughs> I mean... So... For example... Let's think of a... What am I gonna eat before I die from radiation poisoning? I forget, I swear it was like hundreds of bananas. And it has been like a 24 hour period too, which is really funny. So this is called collagen. Uh, this is often found in, let's say, the corners of your mouth. This is often found in the buildup of tissue after a cut. Stuff like that. Um, it's a protein that just helps with building like the muscle skin kind of thing. Right? Now, if you have no vitamin C, what's gonna happen is that these collagen molecules are just gonna kind of sit around beside each other and they're not going to attach. But if you do have C here, um, they will form properly and they will have an attachment between them, like this. Which is what vitamin C is supposed to do. So they're supposed to link and they're supposed to be cross-connective tissues. So see? Good? Good. So this means it'll come together. That's why they say that if you have a vitamin B, C, I mean, vitamin C deficiency, often what will happen when you are deficient and you get a cut means it will start unraveling. And that means, that's why, like, old cuts will just suddenly start bleeding again. You'll be really sensitive to, uh, like any sort of damage, any sort of bruise and stuff like that. The corners of your mouth will start to crack and everything. So, yes. It's very helpful. Now, um... So, kind of explain what antioxidant means. Uh, an antioxidant. Just think of it like this. You have your DNA, right? Now, there's a couple scenarios that can happen here. Well, two, we'll see. Let's say it's split it down the middle. Um, there's something called free radicals, which is just practically, um, free high energy, um, molecules that just, like, shoot around the body because of being released from something, uh, oxidation, often, which is why it's called antioxidant. Ex antioxidant. But, what these guys will do it's because that they're so high energy, they like, they're beaming, they're zooming. So what they're gonna do is that they will just collide as fast as they can by accident with DNA, and they will break the DNA. Not on purpose. I'm saying they don't mean it. <laughs> but they will cause breaks in the DNA. Because they will collide so fast that it'll break the bonds between the DNA, and it'll damage it. Now, what... Um, uh, what's it called? What vitamin C does is that vitamin C has, um, hydrogens attached to it. 
um, and what they'll do is that they'll donate their, uh, they'll donate one of their hydrogens or electrons to here, and now he's like calm, you know? It's like neutralizing him, right? He's like calm now. So he's no longer beaming with energy. He has the extra electron, and he's happy. He's no longer zooming around. He's, he's chilling. He's chilling. Right? Of course, I'm certain we know that the deficiency of vitamin C is called scurvy. Um, and that just causes, like, um, poor wound healing, reopening of previous wounds. Uh, sometimes it'll cause fractures, uh, and loose teeth. Sometimes, like, bleeding gums. Uh, really easy, uh, what's it called? Uh, bruising? And sometimes it'll even bleed around, like, the hair follicles. So, vitamin C, very helpful. And lastly, of our water-soluble vitamins. Oh gosh, what are we gonna do after this? Oh man. So, this one is found in egg yolks as well. Now you should be careful, egg yolks sound really good in all of this, but they're also very high in bad cholesterol. Uh, this will be an organ meat. Like we talked about liver, uh, spinach, uh, nuts, and bleacher. Um, do you guys remember what the phospholipid bilayer is? Um, vitamin S, serene, serenium, is it? <laughs> um, okay. Membrane, yes, 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 yes. So, this is what the bilayer is. Right, this thing. And it'll continue on, there'll be like, these are like the lipids attached to it. See, ta-da. Ta-da. Phospholipid bilayer. It's called phospholipid just because of the composure of it. It's lipids on the bottom, it has a phos uh, phosphate backbone, everything like that. Okay. It practically just helps make this. <laughs> That's just important though. It's also important that it's something called acetylcholine, but it's also important thing is that, and I guess, acetyl... <laughs> and there it is. That's what, that's what choline does. And that's the last water-soluble vitamin I'm going over. So yes, diverse meals is what I can summarize this too. Jellyfish. <laughs> we talked about vitamin D. Um. Okay, well that's a. I'm. It's like a lipid soluble vitamin. <laughs> I was gonna go over the lipid soluble vitamins today, but I'll talk about it briefly. Um. It's often uh from the sun. Uh, the thing is, is that the sun process causes, uh, something called 7-D-hydrocholesterol to turn into something called cola calisferol, which is what vitamin D3 is. Vitamin Ds. Um, <laughs> it practically helps with, um, the process of how your bones reform and break down calcium. So, that's practically what it is. <laughs> Am I late to class? Do you have a hall pass? Where have you been all this time? You missed attendance. I'm gonna call your parents now. <laughs> they're, they're gonna know that you missed. Also, I should say with vitamin D. Um... Because vitamin D is really important in the formation of... And like the process of calcium in the blood. Calcium is really important in the blood, by the way. Um... Uh... It affects both... Uh, the blood. Like the, um... Blood and bones, the kidneys and the intestines. Um, specifically when it comes to calcium. Um, 
So practically, practically, the one thing you should know is that if you're like um like a a person of color with like a uh, like tan or darker skin, um, you are actually less prone to absorbing vitamin D in comparison to other people that are much like lighter, right? And that's just, it has to do with the melanin in the skin. So often, people who uh, are much tanner should, um, if they want to get vitamin D from the sun, often have to sit out in the sun longer for absorption. It's kind of like how people who are really light, like, very, like, light skin or white get sunburn really easy. <laughs> it's like the opposite, right? Um... As well as, uh, a lot of milk is fortified with vitamin D. Um, it probably is nearly everywhere. So, usually vitamin D deficiency isn't, like, huge, but it is for people who just, you know, do not touch the sun ever, you know? I don't like the sun though, you know? <laughs> you can always just take, uh, vitamins. I tend pretty good for some reason. Oh, fair, fair. I think, um... I can't think of... I think I've gotten sunburnt once. But I am pretty pale. So, it's kind of, like, surprising how long I went without getting sunburnt. Artificially added? It's artificially added often. So, fortified means that, like, they've added it... Just to add it. <laughs> So, for example, iron is often fortified into white bread because a lot of uh, people in North America are very iron deficient. So, they fortify it in something that they know that people will commonly eat. For example, milk has calcium, which I talked about vitamin D being very closely related to the calcium process in the blood. So, they paired those together so that people are getting calcium and the vitamin that helps process it, right? Sun Dragon isn't getting enough sun. I am getting enough sun. I'm even though I take vitamins just in case. Cave dwelling? Okay, okay. But yes. Those are practically all of the, um... What's it called? Water-soluble vitamins. So, that covers practically all of that. Oh, hi, Lottie! <gasps> Hello! Hi everyone. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> we actually just uh, wrapped up a whole bunch talking about vitamins today. <laughs> Hello. What were you guys up to? Me some chocolate after it. Me some vitamin D. Look, I said it. Welcome away. <laughs> Welcome away, guys. We just finished off. We were talking about vitamins and specifically water soluble vitamins. So, vitamin B and vitamin C. <laughs> Hello, hello. What are you guys up to? What are you up to? I kind of want to get a snack, Mokulai. I'm hungry. Where is hi? So she said these? I did. I did say these. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said these. I couldn't help myself. Oh you! Thank you for the five gifted. Oh my gosh! Hello everyone. Wow! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, hi, hi. Hi everyone. Um. Dang, no gold. <laughs> you hacker and moderate. <gasps> Cute hacker. Is she playing like a hacking game? Wait, let me see what she's playing. Um. Let me check out. Oh, I should introduce myself. Hello, my name is Suri Suri. I am the amused, sleepy sun dragon and big nerd. <laughs> um, today we are talking about uh, nutrients, and we're talking about specifically water soluble vitamins. I like to nerd out about biology a lot. I tend to do it by accident during stream, so now we've found a designated stream for me. To <laughs> nerd out about stuff. <laughs> Is it into gloomy? I'm, I'm just a big nerd, okay? 
Man, now that we've gone through all that, what are we supposed to do now? <laughs> we've gone through so much? Um, but thank you for the raid, I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your stream. I'm about to go check what you just did. Oh, were you, um... Which one? Ah, uh, you're playing Pokemon Violet. <gasps> My favorite Pokemon game is Emerald, personally. Prepper bodies for pregnancy? Stop, that's not it. I did not tell that. Okay, look, all I said is that it's really important to have folate in your body. You know, I think it's important to have folate just because it prevents neural tube defect, but it also prevents. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting chilled. <laughs> um, folate helps with DNA uh, synthesis, so it helps. Prevent megaloblastic anemia. Anyways, that sounds like a whole bunch of night emoji things. Wait, what? <laughs> Pregnancy? No, that's not what I said. That's not how women get thick. No, that's not what I said either. I said that just women are well known for having more fat in them than men. Like by percentage, you know, by body percentage. <laughs> you guys are tools. Man, cast iron quickly fixes iron deficiency. It doesn't fix it, but it definitely does help. I have heard of this. Oh, she's calling all women fat. That means I'm calling myself fat. I'm like, I actually very light, genuinely. I'm like, I'm not gonna say it actually. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I think guys are gonna make fun of me again already. It's all in the notes, Professor. <laughs> Is that all you wrote down? You guys like went to your notes and you're like, Okay, what has Siri taught me? Siri has taught me that folate... Folate... What is it? Pregante women. Women. And a uh, woman fat. Question mark. Is this what you retained? Is this what you retained? <laughs> Is this all? Is this all you retained? <laughs> Out of all that night emoji talk, this is what you retained? <laughs> hi, hi. Yeah, basically. <laughs> no way, not Hedgy too. Hedgy, you were actually listening to part of it. You're chill. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, uh, um. Okay, okay, okay. I love your outfit. Thank you. I don't know what to do now. I'm kind of hungry. Do you guys want to get a snack? <laughs> we can just talk for the rest of it. We can just add to if you want. Bill Nye? The schoolhouse of rock? My intelligence is not college level like you were saying. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Is it? I have, um... I actually have, like, food food downstairs. Um... I have something called shepherd's pie. I don't know if you guys have had that before. It's like the, like, mashed potatoes with a whole bunch of veggies and meat mixed in in the center. You know? Nice? <laughs> yes! Yes! And then you put, like, gravy on it and stuff. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Man. Uh... Okay, okay. Now you got me hungry now? <laughs> okay, should I... Uh, where can I put this mic? Oh my gosh, I don't want to knock anything over. I want to put this mic lower so it stops covering my face. Stop this. I don't think I can make my phone stand any higher. <laughs> I have to talk like this. No. <laughs> Hi. Knock the mic over and break our ears. <laughs> Help. <laughs> yeah, not so tall now, are you, huh? Not so tall now. Yeah. That's... That's <laughs> it. 
<laughs> oh, hi, Pass. You'll play our host game. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm in it, huh? Yeah, you. Yeah. Because I don't know. Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm I'm the right now. I just want to say something, but I was scared you guys are gonna do it. I was gonna be like, for like a. Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna say it, because then you guys are gonna do it. Uh, not to challenge you guys. I feel like every time I like say something as a joke, where I'm like, 50 subs for this or something, someone like actually does it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Do what? I'm <laughs> scared. I was gonna say, like, $50 for right now and I'll eat the mic. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, please don't. I'm not actually going to. I don't wanna get my mic all disgusting, okay? I don't wanna make my mic look all fucking gross and disgusting when I eat the mic. Say it, Khaled. I said it, I said it. I was completely puzzled after that last shit. Stop. Stop! <laughs> Can I just... Can we... Can we exchange this, please? No. Can we do something else? I don't want to go my mic go. I want to eat my mic. You can choose anything else. Anything else. Anything else. That isn't, like, gross, you know? <laughs> please. Please. I want to eat the mic. <laughs> no. I'm just messing around. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> eat my <mine>. mic? <laughs> no. I don't wanna eat the mic. I wanna. Um. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Remind them to the mic half, probably iron. Ow. The jest of system. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be like fucking colonoscopy now. <laughs> like, you guys are silly. <laughs> Not just my bad. You want me to read my vitamins? <laughs> Eat something next to the mic? I have no food. I have like. I have like a bag of granola. I'm gonna just be crunchy. Yeah, I'm gonna like. Ah, uh, uh. It sounds like I'm destroying so much bones. You see it on science school last night? Oh yeah, she, she had like really spread out ones, right? What the f- I'm not gonna eat the mic! I'm not gonna do that! I love this. What's it? What's my favorite what tag? What is an ace tag? Wait, I don't know. Actually, no mind. I forgot. This is chat. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know what that means. Skip, move on. What's that mean? Wait, give me a second. I'm gonna center myself. Oh my god, where'd she go? Oh my god. Help! Where's she? Where is she? Next question? Oh yeah, everyone's so distraught. That definitely tells me that this is a wrong question. This is something I don't wanna know. Right? <laughs> Wait! Wait in the dark. Hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is he a zodiac sign? Mm, let me check. February... Let me set him myself. What is that? It's Pisces. I'm a femps. I'm a femps. They still have something? God damn it. Wait. It's cause of this. Okay, I'm gonna put the... Eh. 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 Is that like... Is 
about something. Is that good? I think that's good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Can the mic pick up the heartbeat? I don't think so. Um... I don't think I could get... Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. I don't wanna... That's weird. I mean, shut up. Sorry, I just, you know... <laughs> Thank you, yes. Question mark? What? What are you guys laughing about? Stop. You're embarrassing. Say it? No, 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 no. It's not, like, appropriate to talk about. I'm not gonna talk about that. So I love you? I love you, too. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Guys, don't. You want this? <laughs> Hello. Yes, you see. <laughs> Done? What? That's it. We're having a duel. That's it? <laughs> Who put that down? Huh? Who put that? I saw that. <laughs> you guys are so funny. No one will. <laughs> what does that mean? And they're like, what does this, what does that even mean? Shimano. If I had to choose chat as a fiend, I think you guys would be like, hmm. Because, uh, the army rights thing is, you know? I think you guys are like an egg. Orange? Dragon peel? <laughs> no, I think you guys will be on the rise. Will you draw cute things on us and catch them? Oh, of course. You know, I'd probably like... Um... Like... Hmm, how do I draw this? Oh my god. I'm just gonna do that from here on out. Oh, this is gonna be too difficult to go here. <laughs> Can I just like paint bucket it? That looks kind of lame, but... I'll cover the edges so it looks less... Oh god. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. We'll be okay. I'm like trying to lean into my screen to see better. I don't have my glass glasses up, so I can't see. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you guys are soft and sweet? Oh. You think I'm sweet? You guys are silly. I just think... Um... <laughs> no, never mind. I don't want to say that. Shut up. I'm not telling you guys that. Sorry, I don't mean that, but... Uh, how do I draw something? Um... <laughs> so I can't see what? I don't know how to stop it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, at least get a cute design on... John, on the ketchup? Yeah! Um... I'll give you guys, like, little horns. Those, those kind of look like ears and some horns, but it's a lot. Right there. Like that. <laughs> no, they look dang, they look cute. Look, you, you guys. You guys are on the... On the rise. Um... I think on the rise kind of has like this shape though, right? It kind of like blobs out at the end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, but please do take care for like, just take care of your drinking a lot. Yeah, there. Now he looks kind of evil with ketchup, but it's okay. 
What's up? Oh my gosh, hello! You're from Mexico? Oh my gosh. I've never- I've only been there once, ever, but I can't remember where I was. Cause, um, it was when I was really young. But I love the culture there. <laughs> There's two of them. That's what I'm saying. There's two of them. I mean, you guys are omnivores. I would put you guys with like little green veggies for some of that. You know, like the little green veggies. Yay! I killed us. And veggie shoes? No, it's just a veggie. <laughs> We're so close to 20k, are we? <gasps> Where are we right now? I don't check because I don't want bring worms sometimes. <laughs> I'll probably get bring worms right now, don't worry about them. <gasps> We're at 17 for what? Whoa! Oh my god! The veggies do not know. Um. Usually you put like a little veggie on the top though, right? I'm gonna give you guys a little sprout. Now you guys look dorky. Look at you guys. You're so silly. That's good. <laughs> oh, I can see you. Looking good? I'm glad. <laughs> Maybe I'll give you guys like little bushies. Perfect. Um, right? And now... It's over. Ah. <laughs> it's over for you. It's over. <laughs> ah. The valley has- Wait, don't say it like that. That sounds- That makes it weird. <laughs> I'm weird, do <laughs> Oh no, why is that a mix of people going like, yes, yeah, and then some people like, no! <laughs> Say hello! I have hopes and dreams. It's still for you. Yeah. Uh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, stop! Oh, you guys always come back to this topic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's some hungry? I'm hungry too. I can't wait to eat that supper tonight. Don't say. So you can, since we're just chatting, right? Um, let me check what chapters we should read it for what month huh? Oh, this is so embarrassing. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're gonna make one tomorrow, I guess? <gasps> Can you make on your eyes? Are you really good at it? Can you make fancy designs? <laughs> Uh, I'm fun, I plan to be at stuff, stuff. Stop your business. <laughs> Let me check. Oh, you? I don't know if that's directed to me or not. Oh, Bristol Mouse is like, oh, well, welcome back. I want to go home. Oh, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm kind of excited to nerd out about the like the 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 thing the you know the manhua. Thank you all my long you made. <gasps> Thank you, Matthew, for the two dollar super chat. I appreciate it. I I'm kinda of excited to like talk about it to other people, but I'm also really embarrassed. 
The club's gonna be fun, yeah. Um, I think. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Sorry, I just, you know. <laughs> okay, should we go by like 10 chapter intervals? Or should we go by like 20 chapter intervals? Maybe 10. Because how many chapters are out right now? I think like only like 75 or something. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I did not see that. Oh my gosh, my my first way I'm only never been busy with it. I don't even pick that. Oh thank you. Chapter 25? Wait, what was in chapter 25? Let me check. Ah? Ah? Oh, this part is this oh I remember this. Oh my god, he got Oh, he got so mad. Is it, am I looking at the right one? I think I am. He got so mad. Oh, there's only five of one. Oh, we're talking. So all the members, um, we're having a book club practically. And I'll put an announcement again. Um, no spoilers. Okay, I won't say anything. I won't say anything. But um, is fifteen a good place to leave off? Uh, we're having a book club about <laughs> a really embarrassing romance manhwa that I read. <laughs> and I don't want to tell people about, but eventually I did tell about it. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, bye! Oh my god! This is... No, no, no. <laughs> this is a good one to leave off on. I don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, so fancy! I'm not so fancy. Stop. I think I I I already said it. I just feel protected. <laughs> oh my god! She's having loot. That stop, dude. Skip. Stop. Oh my god. Okay. I'm just so protected. That's all. What are you hiding today? I'm not hiding anything, okay? I've already admitted what I read, okay? I already admitted it, okay? The scary stories? <gasps> That's fair. I'm a coward. I can't read scary stories just so I get scared at night. <laughs> I get scared at night. And then I can't go to sleep. Horror movie watch along? No, dude, I won't be able to sleep that night. I'd actually have to stream for like six hours to like five a.m. or something. Or oh, watch along. Oh my god, that's terrifying. What movie would we even watch? I don't know how those work. I don't know how watch alongs work. Saw? Oh god, no. Saw is like really gory. I don't like like extreme gore. Extreme gore makes me like. Ugh. Original Thing movie? What's Thing? Hmm. Why won't this load? Load faster. I wanna see if it's in this chapter. So I can see if it's a good place to leave off. <laughs> Dude, cute horror? What's cute horror? That doesn't sound like horror if it's cute. Oh, Wait. Oh my god. This thing too long. I need to find a different website that loads faster. Old public domain movies? What, what counts as an old public domain? Yeah. I think the house no copyright? I guess. I mean, like, I wouldn't mind watching, like, a copyrighted thing. If it, like... What? What chapter is this? This- oh, this is chapter 50. Oh my god, stop. I got school buses. <laughs> this is- this is the entire chapter.
to just okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't wanna end on this chapter. Are we? Is it? I don't wanna end on the goodbye chapter. We're gonna like that's all we're gonna talk about then during the stream. I don't wanna only talk about the goodbye chapter. <laughs> oh, Wait, can I like go shop somewhere? I've never seen that. <laughs> okay, is this one? It's leaking out now. Is it spicy? Oh, dude, that chapter was just all like. It was just all. Goodbye. Yeah, it was all Lulu. I don't want to end on the all Lulu chapter. That was, that was too much. I don't even think I was even scrolling past the news too much. What is this? It's so good. Maybe we can end on the chapter before it. Would that be fair? The chapter. Wait, maybe the chapter before it or the chapter after it? Is this a good spot to end? <laughs> stop. Oh god, stop, Shayla. This is so cheesy, but it's so good. <laughs> okay, okay, I think. I think chapter 16 is a good place to end off. Why not chapter 10? Uh, what, what's even in chapter 10? What's in this one? Like, I wanna end on like a cliffhanger, you know? Like, I wanted to end on, like, a, whoa, you know, like, oh my gosh, so we have stuff to talk about. The story in this way, it's called, like, whoa, I go embarrassed every time I have a scent. It's called that. <laughs> okay. It's that, so, so. Like, I'm just, I'm just embarrassed. Okay, okay. This is so cute, that's so funny. Okay. I think... I think... I think chapter 16 is a good place to end. Right? My... Um... Okay. Yeah. Cause it ends on like a, a nice like... Oh, it's cliffhanger, kind of like, oh, speculation play. I didn't hear you. I didn't, you, I typed that in chat. I typed that in chat. It's like pretty cute story over. Stop, stop. I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I'll announce it to members later. And then, we'll either have it, um. Hmm. <clears throat> We'll have it... Do we want to have it, like, next week on, like, Tuesday or something? Or Monday? Wait, is that enough time? Like, two days to read all those chapters? I feel like that's kind of... a lot. Are we still doing science? No, we finished talking about water-soluble vitamins today. Are we really fun that's a finished book? I read... I actually read Silver Eyes. Like, genuinely, I actually read Silver Eyes. <laughs> I know that's kind of nerd emoji, but... I genuinely did. 
No. <laughs> Whole sense of light? It's just like... It's just life. It's just life, love, you know? <laughs> my kind of story. <laughs> oh my god. More than enough days? You guys... <laughs> buy a FNAF series? I don't have FNAF series, I'm just like... I'm a pretty well based on a lore, if anything. <laughs> also, um... Uh, do we do we want it on do we want book club on Monday? And uh, not gonna lie, the only reason we talk like this, cause like nearly everyone is members. Like we have so many gift subs that like nearly everyone in chat is just green for just asking at this point. <laughs> A very different vibe from last night. Yeah. I gotta read it to refresh my memory. Stop, girl. I'm also gonna read it, so it's okay. Okay, okay. Let's, um... Let's start wrapping it up. Um... I I've left you with your assignment. You have to read till chapter 16 of, um, the, the manhwa. And I'll sing it out loud. <laughs> chapter 16... Really? Okay. Also, uh, last thing, we have two emoji slots that, um, aren't filled, and I was thinking of drawing emojis. I was thinking at least one of, like, uh, the little, the little chat mascot. What do you guys think the, the other one should be? I say going now, but saying lots of love, of course. Will there be a test? Will be book club. There's gonna be book club. Okay. Search on Mozo, he's so cute. Yeah! King <laughs> No. <laughs> now, is that Freddy's movie? Yes, it's coming out in late October. I remember this. Uh, we still fill the slots until we fill them properly. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. I'll just add random stuff. Um, you know, I'll just add like a, this exact same emoji. I'll just- I'll just put suns in. <laughs> All the suns. Close you my fun. Close you my too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my, oh she wants. I don't want to be- don't want to learn more about vitamins and how to be healthy? Yes, until next time. Until next time. We don't have enough time. We have 14 but, uh, 1500 left? Um, let me check. Uh. Where at? Oh, frick. Um, I forget how to check. Oh, over here, I see. We have, yeah, we have 1410 numbers. Oh my goodness. I take vitamins every day? That's good! Um... What is it? Uh... Oh, the other thing was... Is that for, um... This month's, uh... Video thingy... Uh, I wanna get something out by next week... At the very least... I think I'm gonna do a voice pack... I'm gonna do the fucking, like, workout voice pack, maybe? Or we're gonna have, like, a shit posting... But I wanna try and see if I can do it... I don't really know how voice pack works... So I'm gonna ask Mita, cause I think she knows it better than I do. <laughs> but yes. No more golden? <laughs> we got to yeah! Maybe like, yeah! One more, yeah! One more, yeah! <laughs> oh, is there randoms getting memberships? Oh, I know, it's okay. I understand, but that's why there's tiers of memberships, right? Like, um... I was also gonna see what game I would plan for the highest tier of membership for, uh, this month. I was thinking a Fall Guys tournament. <laughs> I was thinking a Fall Guys tournament. I was also, or, um, I was also, I also want to see if I can do something with, um, uh, that was free so people wouldn't have to buy games. So, I think TABG is a pretty game, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna double check what games are, like, free and, like, ha can have a lot of people in them. 
Um, but yes. Um, yes, 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 yes. I think that's practically it. Right? How many calories should we take every day? Oh, uh, okay. Calorie intake really depends on what you do. Genuinely, um... <clears throat> it depends on how active you are. So if you're sedentary, if you're somewhat active, if you're not active, at, or if like you're really active. Um, it's called a BMR. If you want to learn, like, uh, how much. It's called a basal metabolic rate, right? Yeah, I'll type it in chat so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um. Feel like a sailor will just relax me back into sleep. <laughs> I like have like, you know, for that wish pack, I'll like divide it up so people can, uh, like cut the audio up. And I'll like, have like an online audio. Or it's just like me going like, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Or it's like, start the timer, start the timer! But this is what it's called. If you wanna learn, um... If you wanna learn, like, how much- How many calories you should intake to maintain the same weight. But to maintain the same weight, by the way, it's called basal metabolic rate. And it depends on how active you are, your, uh, height, your weight, your gender, uh, what more so your sex, um... And stuff like that. Mine is to take vitamins. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd have to see how I distribute that. Like, do I just make it a YouTube video? And then people can download it if they want to? Or do I, like, actually make, like, a file that people can access and stuff like that? I don't know. I think I make it a video so it's all logged somewhere, right? So it doesn't get lost? I think that's probably the best. Right? That's what I feel like at least. By the way, whatever works for you. You know, I'll make it a video and a file. I'll like make a video with the thing, and then I'll also link a file to it. Probably. I think that would be good. Uh, just the thing, I'm, I'm worried about the file thing. Specifically because of like how the Google form didn't work. So, I hope I am able to link, like, a mp3 file or something, but, yeah. Uh, the video at all, oh, that's true. Uh, you know, I'll, yeah, I'll make a video so everyone knows where it is. Because there's membership-only videos, right? And then, I would attach the link to that membership-only video. I just want to make sure that it's, like, loggable, I guess. The thing is, is that I don't know how to, like, limit it to months. But I think that's for me to, like, ask everyone and be you. Oh, but I'm sick and need rest. Good night. No worries. I hope you're able to recover well. Oh, yeah, thanks. I was confused because every book tells me a uh, different self. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them either mean, like, uh, whether you're trying to lose weight, gain weight. Uh, based on the tablet rate means, like, uh, to maintain the exact same weight based off of your physical activity. So, for example, if you wanted to start losing weight, you could calculate your basal metabolic rate and then increase your physical activity, and you'd start to lose weight while maintaining, like, um, proper intake of food, you know? To an extent, of course. Don't, like, you know, absolutely overwork yourself. Professor Zuri, this to you? <gasps> Bonnie, thank you. I'm glad. Um, okay, okay. I think now is a good time to wrap it up. I keep getting distracted. I think that's all the housekeeping I have here today. So I think we're okay. How are we feeling about these streams, by the way? Are we enjoying this kind of stuff? Do we want this kind of stuff? Do we want like an actual ASMR at some point? <laughs> Rather than me nerding out? Uh, do we want more video games? What's going on? Yes, yes, greatly enjoying. <gasps> I'm glad. Is it good? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm way on my stream right now. Uh, ASMR too? Really? Do you guys really enjoy that? This is better? <laughs> They're serious and I'm in? Do you guys want to be excited or something to talk about? Do you enjoy? It's one of the greatest things in the world. 
Normal ASMR would be good too? Okay, okay. I just don't know how normal ASMR works. Like, am I just supposed to be nice? Like, am I supposed to just be like, hi? <laughs> how are you today? I hope you're good. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna have to like, ask Echo or something. <laughs> I don't really know how it works. I can see you what? Thank you. Just be goofing around. I could do like a meme ASMR. I could totally do a meme ASMR. But like, that I could definitely do, because then I can think of a story. But regular ASMR, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to just be like... Like, I've heard of like... Like, positive affirmations. But I've only heard of that as like a joke with like... Positive, like... Positive affirmations for sigmas. <laughs> like, stuff like that. <laughs> Where it's like, you are a lone wolf. You don't need anybody. They will doubt you. <laughs> they will doubt your ability. You will prove them wrong. You are a Sigma. <laughs> Do that actually? Negative affirmation? How does that work? I feel like that would be mean. How does negative affirmation work? You suck. Jeez, get good. <laughs> He was standing still, just fucking hit him, man. Good boy. <laughs> I feel so good. No, fuck you. <laughs> and you, mama. <laughs> I see it. You're so good, stop. Not my mama. <laughs> you are so bad at Fortnite. <laughs> We're gonna kick you off the team, that's it. <laughs> Just talking in so I could do that. I'll write these down. Like, a fucking, like, toxic CSGO lobby is somewhere. Or like, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Positive Sigma affirmations is like. Just my feeling I'm like going to see you late. Okay, we'll try that maybe. Um, we'll probably continue uh Dark Souls next week. Um, probably no drawing streams for a bit. We've done a lot of those recently. I want to try and touch on other content. Um, what else? What are you guys interested in? Like we talked about ASMR stuff. Like we'll do eat meme ASMRs. Um, oh my gosh, I just put like a really crunchy mic on my voice as well. Where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you think I have something like that? Wait, let me check this out. Hello? <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. So terrible. Oh my god. Hello? Oh wait, like this. Wait, I can do this. Oh wait, I have something to make my voice really crunchy. Hello? <laughs> you suck. Jesus. Who let this guy on our team? This is fucking small. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um. Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so bad. This is so terrible. What about this one? Oh, this one just sounds weird. Wait. Huh? Oh my god. What the fuck? This is perfect! Actually, wait. This works. Wait. Hello? What, like? Am I only in the right ear? I feel like I'm only in the right ear. What the fuck? Wait. Okay, how's this? 
No boob? Oh, I what? It's there? Oh, okay. Dude, uh, look at that. Okay. Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> what the fuck, man? Just hit him, Jesus Christ! Are you fucking throwing my game? God damn! Oh my fucking god. Oh my Where? Who? This can't be your account, bro. No way you're fucking gold. Jesus fucking Christ. They always give me these shit fucking teammates all the time. Every time I play this fucking game, they're always inting me and I can't fucking climb ever. Holy fuck. I am fucking trash talk CSGO lobby is on my incoming. I am. Are we good? <laughs> that was that was a demo, alright? Okay. I'm glad we're good. It's so funny because when I tilt my head down, it like opens my mouth really wide. Because <laughs> the mic is covering half my mouth, so it thinks my mouth is open. <laughs> Think I can't decline? Yeah. I'm so ready to do that. That's so fun. Okay. Let me talk about more of the still streaming. Okay, this is actually still in the middle of stuff, so... Can I see it? Oh my god, in the club? I ain't. Okay, okay. I think we've decided, at least on like ASMR, like a meme ASMR, I'll probably do it later in the week next week. Uh, we have a couple collabs next week as well. Um... But that will be announced in, tomorrow in the schedule when I can confirm everything. Is gold still around? <laughs> I actually like that one on TF2, it's true, true. My god, okay, okay. Um... Hmm. Yeah, and then we'll continue Dark Souls. Uh, would you guys be interested in seeing Lies of Fear, by the way? The most, like, recent Souls-like game that came out? I know a lot of my genmates and stuff are playing it, so I don't know if it's really of interest, but... Was it? Yes, please? Really? That'd be cool. Okay, okay, okay. I've heard about it, try it out. If you guys are interested, I will, but if you're like, oh man, everyone's playing this game and I really don't want to watch it, then it's fine. I always try out? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap everything up there then. Uh, oh my gosh, Crab Game is actually free. Maybe we can all play Crab Game for, um, the Elder skin for this. Uh, so I like calling it fucking, like, elders because it makes me sound like I'm, like, working in a fucking, like, old folks home. <laughs> ah, I can't wait to play all this game with the elders. Like, <laughs> they're gonna enjoy this game so much. <laughs> Chaotic? Yeah, I think that'd be good because it also has VC, which is nice. So I think that, well, um, I'll put a vote for the high tier members to choose what day. They want to play, and we can all do that based off of who can attend. I mean, I see the caretaker. <laughs> oh my god! All right, um, okay, I'm gonna head out for tonight. It's pretty late. Uh, we're gonna raid into Amoria sometime, I believe. Um. <laughs> Let's check. Uh okay, okay. Hey, the crab boss, dude. I can, I farm on that crab boss. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to raid because it's too late for me. Thanks for the stream. Of course, don't worry about it. Thanks for the stream. Yes. Um, book club. Uh, did we decide Monday? Right? Is that enough for you guys to read sixteen chapters? Like, it's not actually, like, huge chapters. Like, the chapters are pretty short. It's a manhua. Um, I'll put an announcement, or, like, right after stream to all the members. 
Plenty of time? Okay, okay. I'll probably still hang around in the Discord. Uh, text thingy. I just have to do a couple of things. So, um... Do I need to eat and all that? But I'll probably reread some of it tonight. And so if you guys want to kind of... You know, don't discuss it too much. I want to have conversation, like, during the stream, of course. But while you guys are reading it, if you want to, like, live post about it or something, I'd be so down. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hey. Right. Um. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um. I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow. I have a lot of setup to do. So. Um. We might have a gorilla stream. We'll see though. Uh. Depending on what, how much time I have. Um. Are you streaming in the ASMR? Of course. Thank you for tuning in. Hey. Right. Thank you guys so much. Um, make sure you eat, drink water, uh, get some rest if it's appropriate time for you. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you again, I really appreciate it. Make sure to praise the sun, of course, and, oh yes, Suri! Thank you guys for tuning in, I'll catch you guys, uh, later. Make sure to check the community posts if you're a member, and you want to check that out. Um, especially for... Those who are in the highest tier, in the third tier, Mr. Sun Elders, um, to... we can possibly figure out a time and day. I'll probably not post that tonight, but I'll post it sometime next week, so just keep your eye out for that. If you're a member... Look, look, there's a couple of people that aren't, okay? They've been somehow dodging and weaving around gifted slimes. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you later. Be nice, too. Um... You know, some more, some time. She's playing near, I think, near replicant, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, all right, you should take care. Oh, yes, Sunny. Bye bye. <laughs>